Today, this is the press conference put on by Occupy Oakland uh, to announce plans for the general strike and mass day of action this coming Wednesday, November 2nd. We stand here at the intersection of Telegraph and Broadway. This is the epicenter of the Oakland general strike of 1946, the last general strike in the indigenous lands now occupied by the United States. This Wednesday, November 2nd, the people of Oakland are going to make history once again as we shut down the city in a general strike and mass day of action called for by the General Assembly of Occupy Oakland. The Occupy Oakland movement was sparked by a need to end police attacks on our communities, to defend our schools and libraries against closures, and against this economic system built on colonialism, inequality, and corporate power that perpetuates all forms of oppression and the destruction of the environment. On the night after the brutal police tax on the demonstrators of Occupy Oakland in Oscar Grant, Oscar Grant Plaza was reoccupied and a massive General Assembly was held by thousands of residents of Oakland. It was in this General Assembly that Occupy Oakland came to overwhelming consensus to call for and organize a general strike. Occupy Oakland and the General Assembly has no leaders and no political parties involved in our decision-making process. The decisions for the general strike was made by the people of Oakland themselves in a grassroots roots, non-hierarchical process. On November 2nd, the people of Oakland will strike and show our refusal to continue creating wealth for the 1%. We also call for a day of action in which the circulation of capital is blockaded, students walk out of their schools, and people stage various occupations of schools, foreclosed homes, workplaces, and self-organize to take back control of our lives from the 1%. Occupy Oakland has called for all banks and corporations to close for the day of the general strike, or demonstrators will march on them. Demonstrators also plan to blockade the Port of Oakland on November 2nd. Occupy Oakland intends to picket or occupy any workplace or school which takes disciplinary action against strikers. People around the world have awakened to the chokehold the capitalism has over all of our lives. We make the call for general strikes across the country and the world because globally we have recognized ourselves as fellow victims of world capitalism. And now we are building movements so that we won't be victims anymore by striking, occupying, taking over, and reclaiming our workplaces, our farms, our schools, and our lives. Thank you very much. My name is Louise Michelle. On Wednesday, November 2nd, as part of the Oakland General Strike, we will march on the Port of Oakland and shut it down. We will converge at 5 p.m. at 14th and Broadway and march to the port to shut it down before the 7 p.m. night shift. We are doing this in order to blockade the flow of capital on the day of the General Strike, as well as to show our commitment to solidarity with the longshore workers in their struggle against EGT in Longview, Washington. EGT is an international grain exporter which is attempting to rupture longshore ju jurisdiction. The driving force behind EGT is Bungie Limited, a leading agribusiness and food company which reported $2.4 billion in profits in 2010. This company has strong ties to Wall Street. This is but one example of Wall Street's corporate attack on workers. The Oakland General Strike will demonstrate the wide-reaching re implications of the Occupy Wall Street movement. The entire world is fed up with the huge disparity of wealth caused by the present system. Now is the time that people are doing something about it. The Oakland General Strike is a warning shot to the 1%. I have an inter-office memorandum from Deanna Santana in which she says that, that any worker who chooses to take part in the General Strike of Oakland will not face disciplinary action from the city. The reason why I and other workers will be standing in solidarity on Wednesday for the call for the general strike by the Occupy Open Movement is because this is a movement about fighting corporate rule with worker power. But we must be very clear about something. This is not about a crisis on Wall Street. This is capitalism run amok. Capitalism has failed us. It no longer can deliver the goods. Right. What 
does it say about a country who has billionaires right here in the state of California who are employers, but have their products produced in Asia where they have people working for slave wages? And the only way that's going to be turned around is when workers rise up. The call for this general strike did not come from the AFL CIO affiliated unions. It came from grassroots organizers. This could represent the dry run of what it will take to build for a, gen for a general strike. Because the only time working people get any kind of concessions in this country is when they organize and mobilize in their own name. And I'm going to conclude with this quote from a former slave, an abolitionist and trade unionist, Frederick Douglass. Power concedes to nothing without a demand. It never has, and it never will. Thank you. The Onyx Organizing Committee is an African organization based in West Oakland, and we stand in solidarity with Occupy Oakland and with the general strike. The actions of the Oakland Police Department last Wednesday were nothing new, particularly to communities of color. They beat, rape, maim, and kill us every single day. Um, However, it is time to put an end to that. Wednesday, we will use our power as consumers and as citizens to shut the city of Oakland down and let them know that they are accountable to us. We will hold them responsible for their actions and we will not take it anymore. Thank you. And I'm joining with Occupy Oakland in the general strike on November 2nd because I'm in a fight with Chase Mortgage Company for my home. And I want to send a message to Chase that I need my house more than they need one more. Okay. I want you to know that here in Oakland, since 2008, they have foreclosed on 30,000 homes. 30,000 homes. Many of them are sitting up empty in my in our neighborhoods, right? While we're pushed out, they're sweeping us out of our homes like we're dead mice. But we're here to let them know that we're not that. That we're standing up and we are going to fight back. I work uh, in Deep East Oakland, helping folks fight the banks to hold on to our homes. I want you to know that the, uh, the manufacturer crisis, the government and its uh, disregard for the fact that, that housing is a human right has been disinvesting in housing for 30 years. They've been attacking affordable housing, making uh, housing more and more difficult for working people to even achieve. I mean, housing, uh, something to achieve, we know that's a basic human right. Uh, so we know that the government has been involved, and then we know that the banks have been uh, designing inferior mortgage products and pushing them in our neighborhoods. They targeted black and brown communities. So that, for instance, in Oakland, 90% of the foreclosures are concentrated in three zip codes. And those are the zip codes that have high concentrations of black folks, Latinos, and elders. Foreclosure crisis disproportionately impacts women because it's up to us to keep a home. We're expected to be able to hold our families together and keep a home and when we're pushed out, it forces us to not only do the work of finding shelter again with limited resources, but also the emotional work of explaining to our families what is happening, why are we having to leave here? What are we gonna do? How's it gonna work? What we see in front of us today is one of the most serious attacks against Oakland public education the day the police came down and smashed on all the protesters was the same day that Oakland Unified School District announced the closure of five elementary schools. Most of these schools are in deep east Oakland and will seriously destabilize these communities. Why are they closing the schools? Because in 2003, state of California imposed a $100 million loan on OUSD. You know what OUSD did? They sold it to Bank of America, which then sold it to 100 different capitalists. So now OUSD has a monstrous debt, and they're closing five elementary schools to save only $2 million. This is the logic of capitalist accumulation in your face for the schools of your children. And we are here today to reject this and to say no, that if the system cannot maintain schools for our children, we will take over these schools and run them ourselves for the use value of our community. That is Occupy Oakland. We must challenge through the logic of class struggle, 
and the people of Oakland coming together and shutting down the key capitalist institutions that make this society run. We, and there's a call for every single teacher, student, parent, and worker of Oakland Unified School District and the charters to come out November 2nd and march in mass. I mean, there's been three calls for convergences, 9 a.m., 12 noon, 5 p.m. Occupy Oakland is trying its hardest to make it make the general strike and day of action accessible to as many different workers and community members as possible. We understand not everyone can take off the whole day. We understand not all students can walk out. We're hoping for as much participation as possible, and thus far we're really encouraged by the amazing amount of support and commitment to God's people. We want to just show with this one day that we can take it back if we want to. Well, this is the press release from SEIU Local 1021. SEIU 1021 is proud to join and endorse the movement and will be bringing material support to its efforts. The union is also encouraging its members who work for the city of Oakland and elsewhere to take time off work on Wednesday, November 2nd to participate in the Occupy Oakland Day of Actions. I'm with the SEIU United Healthcare Workers, 150,000 workers in the state of California, and we are also in solidarity with Occupy Oakland, and we'll be marching too, just like every other union, every other worker.